In this video, I'm going to show you something very cool you can do here in Unreal Engine 5. So, let's say we wanted something like um, a power. I want my character to grow like Ant-Man and then decrease his size to a normal size. How can we do that? To do that, we have a lot of ways, but I can show you how we can do this in level blueprint. So, how are you gonna do that? First, if I press R in keyboard, so I'm searching, click with right button mouse, search for R, contact sensitive removed. So, I will have to find R keyboard with that. And now, what I want to do is increase the size of the character. So I will need a reference to the character. In the level, I can reference everything. So I can select the character and then in my level blueprint, I can click with right mouse button here in the blueprint, contact sensitive, and I can create a reference to the character. With my reference, I want to change his scale in time how can we do that to do that we press r and add the timeline with the timeline we will transform the size with a float the float will start in time zero and with value zero and then we'll finish with time one and value one now what I want to transform. I want to transform his scale, so I want to set scale 3D. Set actor scale 3D. And that's what I will update. But my timeline will update this code that will transform his scale. But I want to go from his scale to a new one. Let's say that I want to change to double his size. I can put here to compile, save. Now, when I press R, my character will increase his size. Look, I'm giant. I can even bring my camera further. Further away. Yes. And now I will show I can see better, right? And if I want to, I can use a flip-flop or, or even when I release the button, I can change the scale again. So I put here 0, 0, 0, oh no, no, 1, or even better, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Let's compile this and let's test. So press R, I'm a giant. I release, I'm a really tiny one, one character, I press again, I'm a giant, I release, I'm, you understand, look how far I can jump, man, <laughs> really high, <laughs> but yes, now let's say I want to do this, but I want to increase my size slowly, so I have this timeline, I'm not actually using right now, so I can lurp, lurp float, no, no, Lerp vector. Lerp will interpolate value A to B in a time using the timeline. So I will connect this. This will result the transition between A and B. So the A will be the scale, the character scale main is changing so i can use just get actor scale right and then it can connect here actually in a and here i want to say what scale i will use so here i double the size but I can to decrease to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5.
when I press R, he will slowly increase his scale. By now I'm not using this, but I'll show you after. Whoop! <laughs> That's really cool. Whoop! <laughs> but now let's say I want to decrease, so I use this code. Let's flip flop. When I press one time, he'll be bigger. When I press again, he will be smaller. Let's say air, 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 air. <laughs> That's actually very, very fun. And you can do <laughs> lots of things like, I don't know, gameplay. It takes to use this. Sometimes you need to be very smaller to access some points. You can use this to gameplay logics. Very fun. So that's how you can increase and decrease the character size to gameplay to actually make some gameplay logic is to to have fun or whatever you want to do and the concepts can be used to other stuff. If you find this interesting, if you help you, if this is helpful and follow me.